Hello, good afternoon. This is Teacher Roberto, and this is the last video of the first unit about uh, greetings and verbi. Today, I would like to teach you the the, the last skill that you need to learn um, about the verbi, which is how to answer questions using the verbi. I want to remind you that the verbi is formed or built by three words am, is, and are. This is the verbi in simple present. Am is always used with I. Is is always used with she, he, she, he, she, and it. And are is used with we, you, and they. These are the subjects, something important. When we make questions in, in the simple present with the verb be, we need to have something in mind. We need, to, we need to know that if the answer is yes, remember this, we always use the long form. Example, yes, I am. We do not contract the sentence. We do not contract the answer. We need to, we need to do it in long form or using the long form of the verb. Over here, I have, or oh, if the answer is no, we can use both. We can use the long form or the short form we decide and depending on the teacher the teacher might indicate which which one he might um, might want in the test but um, you can use both the question here the first question is are you from Germany if your answer is yes then you use the full form yes I am are you from Germany if your answer is no, you can use both. You can use I am not or no, I'm not. Both are correct. Another example, is he your friend? Yes, he. And we use he here because the subject of the question is he. Therefore, we have to use the same subject in the answer. Yes, he is. Are Peter and John from England? Look, we have here two people, Peter and John. But in the answer, I did not write Peter and John. I just condense it. I make it shorter. So I replace those two names by the pronoun they. Yes, they are. Over here, I have a couple of more questions that you practice or to explain what I mean. Are you a photographer? Yes, I am. Remember that with are you, you don't answer yes, yes, you are. No, because the question is, um, uh, is being asked to you, right? So we answer yes, I am. And remember that when you answer yes, we do not shorten the answer. We just leave it in full answer. We do not contract the verbi. The verbi is in its long form. But if we use no as here, no, we can contract it. No, I'm not. We can use the contraction. Second example. Is she a nurse? And pay attention to my pronunciation. I'm not saying she. I say it as she. Is she a nurse? Is she a nurse? Yes, she is. I use she because the subject over here is also she. No, comma, she isn't. This is in negative. Or I could answer also um, like this. 
yes she apostrophe s she's not no she's not this is also correct remember that we have two ways to answer um, in negative is Damien said hmm, we can say yes yes comma he he is and I use he because Damien is a man but but if your answer is no you need to put no comma no he he is not or you can use the other way no he he no he isn't right so this is basically how we answer a question um, using the simple present of the verb hopefully this video is clear I just wanted to leave it at the end because I did not want to you know um, overwhelm you with so much so um, much information in the second video so I decided to put this at the end once again if you have question uh, let me know make sure that you review this because this is really important make sure that you learn that the verb be is only f made or built by three words am is and are in simple present and remember that to make it negative we just add not at the end and this is the negative i've covered this part in in our second video well guys uh, this is it and please make sure that you check these videos on Edmodo because I'll be posting these videos on Edmodo and the quizzes once you review the quizzes I will um, um, I will uh, sorry once you review the three videos I will put the quizzes on Edmodo so tomorrow I will be uploading this so that everybody can see it if you have questions let me know because on Friday we have um, we have classes on Friday so thank you so much for for your attention and see you soon bye bye